Welcome to another episode of the Thoughtfully Made Fiber Vlogcast. You are watching episode 27, filmed here in my home studio in St. Louis, Missouri, in the United States. Today I'm looking over all of my beautiful yarns for the spring collections that I have coming out and dreaming up all kinds of beautiful things. Whether you're new or you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming and I hope you get to sit with me and enjoy the quiet of this making process for a few minutes. I'm very much a process knitter as well as a spinner and beginning weaver and sewist so everything I do here is going to be very process oriented so welcome if that's your kind of thing. Today I'm focused on a tank top that I am making out of Big Little Yarn Co's beautiful semi-tonal that I'm showing here. Uh, I'm planning something with a little bit of a lace element that's size inclusive and just something that's a little bit inspired by the silhouettes that I wore growing up. I can't believe that the silhouettes I wore as a kid, you know, as a teenager, are coming back into style again, and the kids are calling it retro. Mm. But I am really enjoying the fact that these shapes that I loved, I get to play with them again, and I hope to share more about this with you soon, but uh, for now, I'm enjoying this fiber blend of 70% alpaca and 30% silk, hand dyed semi tonal. Yeah, it's lovely. Today I released my newest pattern. It's called Clara's Playtime Mittens. This pattern is truly near and dear to my heart. If you watched my vlogs over December, then you know that I had not initially planned to make up this pattern. Generally, as a designer, I have very specific goals and a vision for what I want to make. But this particular pattern truly was just a gift that I knit up and then just took some quick notes for my youngest daughter, Clara. She's three, so this initial hand-spun version was knit up in what became the size toddler, and so many people who watched those videos and saw me post about it on Instagram said that they were looking for exactly this type of pattern, so I went ahead and wrote it up, and I'm so proud to introduce it to the world because it was truly like a handmade from beginning to end gift using hand spun yarn that I have spun up. Um, I went ahead and knit additional samples using purchased yarn from Le Bain Aimé. And I also wanted a more affordable option that's non super wash to show um, the differences between the two fiber types. And for that, I reached out to Pearl Soho and they very kindly sent me uh, this lovely yarn. It's called Knitting Yarn. It is a non-super wash, very bouncy, uh, very high twist, multi-ply merino yarn. It's a really lovely, durable basic, and I think it's gonna wear really well. So this is a pattern that I designed basically around my and my kids' own lifestyle. It's got a convertible flap but a smooth top so that when it's closed it doesn't feel too bulky on the top of the hand because my kids and I have quite a few sensory differences and I just prefer it this way. 
For the little ones, I also included a four stitch eye cord to connect the two mittens. Um, I thread this through the coat of my kiddo, Clara, and this just prevents her from losing one or the other. The mittens pretty much just live in that coat now, so whenever she goes out, it's available to her, and the cord keeps it all together. Now that I am deep into the launch preparation period for this pattern, there's a bit left to do. Um, in case you're interested in what my days look like, it kind of looks like this. Uh, I've got this uh, big French door situation in my studio, and it's a little tight space, but it's where I take many of my, if not all of my flat light pictures. I would say that like 90% of them are taken here in this corner. So today I made some reels and then I took some footage for this vlog and I'm now here editing it um, all on February 6th. So even though it sometimes feels a little bit silly as a designer to also have to be a content creator and be squatting here in the morning next to my little window taking footage and pictures, I'm quite pleased that all of this means I finally get to share this pattern with you and um, I hope you will enjoy it. For grown-ups, I've also included some thumb holes that'll help you use your phone because let's be real that's something that we do these days and yeah just it's just a feature I added because I needed one so I hope that you also find it useful and if you'd like to check out the pattern it's on Ravelry and Payhip as always I will put my pattern shop links below thanks for watching today um, I hope you're staying warm and healthy wherever you are and I'll be back in a couple of weeks to share a little bit more about my building blocks cardigan, which is coming very soon. Have a lovely week, and I'll talk to you soon.